threat of war between the United States and Iran seemingly closer today. President Trump saying Iran made, quote, a very bad mistake in shooting down an American drone, but also suggesting the attack may have been inadvertent. Meanwhile, a top Iranian commander is warning that while Iran doesn't want war, they're ready for one. ABC's Trevor Alt has the latest from Washington. Today, President Trump not yet showing his cards in the escalating tensions between the U.S. and Iran, responding to questions of a potential full-scale war breaking out by telling reporters, you'll find out, but also warning America would not stand for Iran shooting down a U.S. surveillance drone. Iran made a mistake. Pentagon officials saying an unarmed, unmanned drone was flying over the Gulf of Oman when it was taken out by an Iranian missile. This drone was in international waters clearly we have it all documented it's documented scientifically not just words but president trump also suggesting it may have happened by I accident I, I find it hard to believe it was intentional if you want to know the truth i think that it could have been somebody who was uh, loose and stupid that did it iran is saying that's not the case an iranian military commander saying their defense system bravely shot down the u.s spy aircraft because it had trespassed into iranian airspace warning that while iran doesn't want war they are ready for it the trump administration has accused iran of attacking international ships operating in the region and today's drone downing is likely seen as another escalation of their accused aggression Senator Lindsey Graham saying President Trump needs to respond. This is an enemy of mankind, and if you're not willing to take this enemy on, you'll regret it. But others are urging caution, including Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I don't think the president wants to go to war. There's no appetite for going to war in our country. Today, Iran's foreign minister is standing by the decision to shoot down this drone, saying that they had recovered parts of the aircraft in their own waters, and they say it's directly beneath where that drone was flying in their airspace. Trevor Alt, ABC News, Washington. And for more coverage, tune in to World News Tonight with David Muir at 630. And news from Albany now. 